Uh, so in the first videos, we talked about just a high level, what does this flow do? Then we talked about version control. Now I want to talk specifically about debug and run and how we launch this thing. So recall that when we looked at it, uh, there's a, a, a component, a, a lightning component here that we put, and this is on the, um, the account um, layout. And so what we're going to do to get to that layout, we're going to go here, we're going to go edit the page. And then we have the page here, and here's the little flow component down that we're working with. We're going to drag, left click and drag this, this flow over. And if we click on it, then what we see, we, we have to identify an active flow. And, and this is um, it's important if you're looking for your flow and you can't find it, make sure it's activated. Uh, and then we're going to be passing in uh, the record ID. So if we click this, we actually see that we could then enter hard code record ID, but we will actually want to pass it, but you'll see that it goes dark there. Um, so if we, if we go back to our flow uh, and we look at, that was the screen that we were just working with here. And if we, if we take this to the right, uh, actually, let me show you a first thing. If, if, we, if we try and, and run it right now and we just click run, what it does is to bring up this screen, which says, okay, you're, you're running it. This is that same kind of test only screen. Uh, clicking next, what it does is to show that we're confirming the office, but notice that there is no office identified. There's no, no, no senior rep identified. So it's, it's actually not getting the information we need. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is, is we're going to, uh, recognize that what it's looking for is this record ID. Just so you see how that's built. If I look at the manager within the toolbox and I type record, uh, what I can see is I've got record ID here as a variable, which is just to pass it in. And important is, is that the availability outside the flow, available for input, is why it's showing up on that, uh, that, that record, the, the uh, lightning component record. So now let's test the debug. And so clicking debug, what that does is to bring up this screen, which says, all right, we're going to debug the flow. And we still need to pull in uh, the record ID. So how do we get a record ID? So if we look back out at the, this is the account record type, and we want to pull that across. Uh, if, if what we're able to do is to look at uh, and this is the record, right? Let me just pull it across so you can see it. Um, if we're looking at this record ID, what we can do is to select kind of this information right here. And this is the record ID. <laughs> you can get your cursor to work. Um, so I'm going to select that off and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to drop back into here. I'm going to enter that variable here. And then I'm going to run it. And it's running, it says that I kicked it off with this record ID. And let me pull this over so you can see it well. I'm going to click Next. It's going to say, OK, it's given me the current office. It's given me the current cruise invitation status. And it's given me senior rep information. So what you can do is to look over here at the debug. See, that was the first screen. Uh, and then it pulled in the initial screen, shows me that. It shows the assignment. Uh, and then we'll walk through these variables in the next step. Uh, but this is basically how you're able to then take a look at the debug and see exactly kind of what information's been getting and how they've been getting it along the way. Um, hope that's helpful. And now we can actually talk about some of the logic within the flow. Thanks for watching.